At 30th Street Station, about to take two trains from Philadelphia to Chicago. First train I'm going to get is the excellently timed 1111 train from uh, here to Washington, D.C. Except actually not D.C., but Southern Maryland. New Carrollton to be exact. Why New Carrollton? Because I'm now going to take buses across Southern Maryland to get to Rockville, the least used station in Maryland. Yeah, and then I'll get my uh, train to Chicago from there. Lamada. Why are your fare machines like this? Why are they like this? A very valid question might be, why get off at New Carrollton and take buses across when I can just take the train to DC and then take the red line straight up? Well, first of all, taking buses is more fun. Second of all, Rockville's actually closed right now. Uh, they're doing some sort of canopy thing. Um, so the red line's not stopping there anyway, so it's actually somewhat comparable to take buses across. I think it's probably still slower, but <laughs> like, I don't know. All right, here comes our first bus. We're taking the F4 to Silver Spring. Oh, Maryland. Why do you love your flag so much? Seriously, why? We pretty quickly entered suburbia here, but um, I will say this route runs every 12 minutes. So there must be some good ridership. Uh, it's, it's nice and empty for me because the previous bus left five minutes late. So it only puts a seven minute gap between us and that one. The Shoppies at New Carrollton. That helps with the Maryland, the Maryland flag. I, I saw that. I swear. I swear. Okay. Either the speed limit is like 10 or we're just running early because we are crawling through this neighborhood. Oh, that house had it too. I don't know if you can see it. The skyline of Silver Spring looms, but here in front, Silver Spring. one of the saddest Greyhound stations I've ever seen. So we just did a complete F4 to Birth Spring Station. Now we are crossing this crazy busway to get to this Q4, and we're gonna take that all the way to Rockville. Oh, and here's the Metro train. This is a really cool station, but no time to waste. Let's get on this Q4. It leaves in two minutes. All right, and just like that, we're off. No one on the bus. Here's an amusement park, apparently. It's transit accessible from Wheaton Station, which we're now entering, which also has the longest escalator in the Western Hemisphere. So if you're gonna go somewhere on DC Metro, uh, Wheaton's a good place to go. Okay, we're coming into Rockville. That is the southbound Amtrak in Chicago running super late. I have to say, it's a pretty rinky-dink busway. That might be because of the construction, though. Um, either way, the uh, Amtrak portion of the station is the only part that we care about, so this is all just a bonus. Well, eventually we got the walk sign and bought this uh, big wide road to actually get to downtown Rockville. Nice to see a lot of construction here, seems like they're trying to make it into a uh, urban village type of thing. I mean, there's a movie theater even. I really do tend to be critical of these, you know, suburban, like trying to be a city center places, but there's actually some character to these buildings and the streets are fairly narrow, not this one, but you know, this one and the one back there was. I mean, this actually is not a bad approximation of what a city center should look like. They did a decent job. Okay, so this building's trying to be Art Deco. Is it weird that I actually kind of like it? It's got a nice pedestrian street here. Um, definitely a, a, a decent amount of chains, which is what you'd expect from a um, sort of a newer construction like this. I think that counts, right? Yeah, that counts. All right, I settled on uh, Giuseppe's Pizza, which is based in Rockville. Yeah, it has another location elsewhere in Maryland, but it is ostensibly a DC institution. If they're very into the Steelers. All right, has some pretty good pizza in there. Kind of your classic joint pizza. Um, now we're heading on this interesting walkway that supposedly leads to the metro. Oh, it's a pedestrian bridge. All right, we're coming down from the bridge. Now the question is how this will actually tie into the Amtrak station, especially with the uh, metro construction. We'll have to imagine in our head that there's a functioning metro station here. Okay, so this is a dark underpass. Here's the station entrance, or where the station entrance would be if the station was open. Um, and I guess on the other side should be Amtrak, theoretically. Oh, actually, wait, it's just under here, okay. Rockville to DC, Rockville to Martinsburg. <laughs> the only this one de destination, I mean, really, it's Rockville to Chicago, as well as to um, Frederick, which is where the other Mark branch here goes. But okay, there's more busway on this side, we don't really care about that for this context. 
don't know what's head up. So it's the evening rush. There are a couple commuters here um, heading out toward uh, you know, north, northwestern Maryland and uh, West Virginia. It's definitely a very well connected station, which is kind of great if you're coming, you know, maybe from Chicago, but you live in somewhere in Maryland, you can come here and then take transit to get where you need to go without having to go into Union Station and back out. So it's nice that Amtrak stops here. We've got a level crossing to the inbound here, which seems legal to use, so I guess I'm gonna come across. Um, there's a lot of mark info. So we've got the rider guide, we've got a Brunswick line schedule, and the, the mark system map. Um, there doesn't seem to be any Amtrak information here. No Amtrak signage even. Here on the inbound side, uh, lots of benches all covered. I mean, this, this platform is very nice. I just don't, I don't quite get the, the ridership um, situation. Like, I, I would think that outbound ridership would be higher from here, but the inbound platform is so much better decked out. I mean, let's see, outbound there are four unsheltered benches, which kind of stinks, and then, you know, a couple of shelters here, but it's still less seating than on this side, less, less sheltered seating anyway. All right, a couple other things. We have a, um, a low-level accessible platform for Amtrak. Um, there's an elevator here, which we can check out. Uh, it looks like it only serves this platform, so you have to kind of cross over at the other side, which isn't the, the biggest deal in the world. I mean, it's a level crossing. Um, there's also parking, which is daytime only. I think it's probably just through Wamada slash Mark. Um, so it's not super useful for the Capital Limited, which is the one train that comes here. Like, that goes to Chicago. You're probably not going to be parking here for the day. That construction is so loud. There's a wheelchair access ramp. For an accessible pathway, it's definitely not in the best shape. Uh, we're right next to the tracks. I think this is just an alternate way to get to the parking lot. Um, yeah, got this barbed wire gate. You can come out and go to the lot, although the lot seems to be closed for some reason. At least there's stuff here. I don't really know why, but we'll find out, right? This space closing temporarily. All right, let's try out the elevator. Definitely <laughs> pretty old school. Yeah, I mean, it's functional, you know? And, oh, God. All right, well, that's, that's not so pleasant, but yeah, as an elevator, it's fine. You know, it does show up. Again, Mark trains, no Amtrak signage, as usual. So, Rockville is the only as far as I'm aware, only least used Amtrak station uh, with a big name band that has written a song about it. So even though I don't have Jackson here with his and ranging skills, I figured I'd have to do something. So one, two, three. Don't go back to Rockville. Don't go back to Rockville. Don't go back to Rockville. Do 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 Waste another year. Now my train's coming. Hope it didn't suck too. So two people got off and three people got on. Um, I should have looked at the ridership numbers before filming this, hang on. Okay, Rockville gets 5,421 riders, or it did get that many in 2019, which is about 15 per day, making it the ninth most used, least used station, so that's pretty good. Overall, I mean, it's, it's very well connected. It's a very useful station. I think it's only least used in the sense that, like, Maryland only has so many stations, one of them has to be the least used. Um, <laughs> I will say, the station itself is not the best. It's kind of, you know, brutalist, falling apart a little bit. Um, and I think because of that, I can't find myself giving it higher than a something out of 10. Let me think about it. Six out of 10. Ultimately, it's accessible, it's functional, it does what it needs to do. Um, so, yeah, that was fun. Now, we take this to Chicago. Here we are in Harper's Ferry, our first stop. Yeah. 
<laughs> Smoke stop in Cumberland. Oh. Okay, well, it should be open and it's not. This is also our last stop in Maryland, and sadly, no appearance of the Maryland flag even on the official. I mean, this MDOT logo kind of uses the colors of the of the Maryland flag, but I don't think that really counts. All American flags over there. That's too bad. I was hoping we'd get one more before we officially left Maryland. So there's a Maryland flag. A bit of a cramped affair. But it gets the job done. <laughs> All right. I took advantage of the uh, expanded long distance cabin menu got some chicken wings rather than my usual DiGiorno's. I'm trying to get some sleep. It's around 9 p.m. So hopefully I can sleep through the night, but we'll see what happens. Got to Pittsburgh 24 minutes early. The platform's tiny. The station's such a dump. We're under a highway, and then this weird, I don't even know what this is. Here's our train, Pennsylvania, and then something this door. This is like a Greyhound station. This is totally a Greyhound station, wow. Pittsburgh isn't deserving of a station this crappy. Yeah, not the best station. Hi. <laughs> Some sleep in the cards now. I love Pittsburgh. Coming into Toledo here, which is a fresh air stop, but I'm gonna stay on here because I feel like once I commit to the fresh air stop, then I'm not gonna be able to go back to sleep. He said as he laid there awake filming. All right, I just woke up, it's about 9.45, which is an hour after we're supposed to drive in Chicago because we're running two hours late due to freight interference because it's Amtrak. All right, we stopped 11.15, exactly two hours and 30 minutes late. I don't know why I didn't think about that. Two and a half hours late. Hey, we made it. So, 17 hours and 45 minutes later, we've made it to Union Station, which, honestly, this might be one of the best train stations in the country. Well, obviously, one, one of the best. It might be the best train station in the country. It is really good. Honestly, as late as we were, I think the Capital Limited is a really good train. Um, it's a really good length. You basically just go to sleep soon after leaving DC. Not soon after, but like pretty soon after leaving DC. And then pretty much wake up in Chicago, theoretically. It's like, it's a good length. And yeah, I really, I'm really glad I took the train up here. Um, this video was about Rockville, wasn't it? Huh.